Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, before I get started with today's video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, like, oh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe, and hit that bell button when you're done. Aww. Okay, so I'm gonna get on with this video. Today's video is gonna be about why I haven't posted in one to two months. I haven't posted for many reasons. One of the reasons is because of school. So, that reason is because sorry that reason is because my school takes a lot of my time a lot of schools take everybody's time my school is a school is a high school and a college mixed together i am a freshman i am in high school and my my school takes a lot of my attention projects homework assignments diys when people hear DIYs, they think of the fun DIYs. DIYs stands for do it yourself. At my school, they um at my school they give a lot of DIYs, but DIYs aren't what you think, like crafts and all that. <laughs> they aren't like crafts and all that. Bebe. They aren't like crafts and all that. Oh, there's a bird. Okay, they aren't like crafts at all. They aren't like crafts and all that, you know? They tell you, they tell you specifically what to do. They tell you specifically what to do in the DIYs. And you have to take this um, pre-assessment. For some classes, you have to take this pre-assessment to see what grade you get. So how many, what grades you got. So what DIYs you have to do, like one, two, three, or four. And every assignment of DIYs, Every assignment of DIYs gives you like a different a different thing to do. So it's different for each class. Biology, algebra, geography, English. Every class is different. Every class has different DIYs. There's project checks at the end of the DIYs. There are some teachers that don't check your DIYs or grade them. There's some people that don't even do the DIYs and still pass their project check, which is amazing. I wish I was one of those people. But the thing is, you have to do the DIYs and towards the end of the class, you take this project check, project pr progress check for the teachers, for the teachers to make sure that you're doing your DIYs. So that's what I have to do. I'm studying, studying sometimes, and I'm actually studying. Um, I am a very talkative person. If you really know me, I am a very talkative person, and if if a teacher sits me next to a person I adore, and I'm close friends with, or I'm just friends with them, I'll talk to them, and I'll get distracted. I'll procrastinate a lot, a lot. But I have two amazing friends, well, three amazing friends, but two of them help me so much. Um, they always like, Daisy, you have to do this, Daisy, don't forget this, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. They always help me, even though I'm not the easiest person. I am not the easiest person to tutor. I'm just saying that. I'm really not the easiest person to tutor. I am the worst person to tutor. Um, it's because I cannot get the work this fast. It takes time for me to progress through my mind to see, oh yeah, you have to divide this, then you have to turn it into a fraction, then you have to turn it into decimal or mx plus b. Like y equals mx plus b. And sometimes they switch the order around on you and you have to divide or minus or add to get the y by itself and put it to the front and then solve the whole equation. And math algebra is really, really stressing me out right now. It's a class I have that's good and then it gets bad and then my grade goes up and then it goes down. And right now I am at a medium level. I am good right now in algebra. I am good. For like right now, since the six since the six weeks just started, I'm good right now. Okay, like I was saying, I had to change my jacket because it was getting a little cold outside, so I just changed my jacket. So white hoodie with uh, my name on it. So okay, like I was saying, the six weeks just started. She wants some love and affection. The six weeks just started, so it is easy, not easy. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah. So. That's for algebra. Geography, easy peasy. Instead of when it comes to the test, you have to stu study hard for that test. 
absolutely he gives like for um i love his class honestly um he's an amazing teacher he really is um just his reviews are like 40 questions which is a little too much but oh well you know you gotta succeed in life somehow um i got spanish war which is amazing it's pretty easy because we got to do DIYs, so the DIYs are all in Spanish, so it's pretty easy. Avid is easy peasy, just a little boring when it comes to tutorials, but besides that, if you take Avid, take it. It's really helpful. It's really going to help you when you want to get into college. It really is. It's going to look amazing on your application. It really is. Um, biology. Biology is one of my favorite topics or subjects. It is. It really is. It's just a little hard. For biology but next year we're taking chemistry and i'm so excited because we can blow some stuff up i think i think i believe i'm not completely sure but yeah um now since we're done talking about diy's projects there's a lot of projects don't kick me yeah 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 there's a lot of projects that go into the school a lot of group projects i love to get i love to work with people don't get me wrong but some people are just like oh frustrating you know you can't fully cooperate with people because everybody has different mindsets and you can't get mad about that you honestly can't be you honestly cannot because there's a lot of people that have smart brains amazing brains talented brains out of this world's brains and they can do so much so if you're gonna do any group works and you don't like working with people take a take a deep breath in and out it's easy you just gotta let other people Put their ideas into it because it's not fair if you only put your ideas into it and it's supposed to be a group work the third um besides the projects are studying study 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 um study is key because without studying where you're going to be in life um i procrastinate a lot to study i don't like studying i don't like doing homework but again i have three amazing friends two especially because they're always on my butt for doing my work the other one helps the other one is like i just ask questions to him like is this due is this due like he helps me with that like when it's due when it's not due you know um but yeah i have three amazing good friends that help me <clears throat> keep keep track of my work and when i have to turn it in and when it's due and <laughs> like that you know you know I look like a bird <laughs> okay um baby baby fourth reason there's gonna be a video twin like um about like some facts about me some interesting facts about me because I have not done that video so if you're wondering about my fingers you are like wondering about my fingers I will that will be the next video I think I'm filming that today or tomorrow but about my fingers, the question will be answered tomorrow. Why I have my fingers like this, so don't judge about them. Like, I'm really insecure about my fingers, but I'm trying not to be as insecure this year, so. Um, fourth reason is because, did I do fourth reason? I don't think I did a fourth reason. Okay, either way, fourth or fifth reason is because TSI testing, oh my god god i hate tsi testing i hate the tsi questions the tsi questions are insane um they're insane they really are um they're insane it really really is um the the questions are kind of hard you just gotta have a lot of logic <laughs> logic you gotta have a lot of logic you have to have a lot of logic to answer the questions and you have to have reason to why you're answering the questions. It's basic. Okay. There's this class called strategic learning. He has games. Games that are related to math. That you have to use a lot of logic and reasoning. There is a pattern in each game. There's a logic of the game. You have to find out how the game is played. First of all. Reason. Logic and reasoning. That's why it's called logic and reasoning. Reason. Reason. Okay. Reason is because reason is because you have to have a reason why you're doing it why you're placing there why you're flipping that box why like logic that's why it's called logic and reasoning you have to put that into your daily use 
logic because I remember this. Reasoning because so-and-so did this. So-and-so said this. You know? Fifth or sixth. Fifth or sixth. Um, I don't think I have a fifth one. Oh, yes. Next semester or my junior year, which is next year, because I am currently a freshman. I think I already said that. But I will be taking a college class next semester or next year but we have to like train our brains to be mental to like pick up the topic fast because in college classes they're not gonna stop they're not gonna say oh yeah i'm gonna give you time to do this they do it fast and fast and fast so that's what we're trying to do here um i think the sixth and final reason is why i've disappeared um it's because I also thought that I needed to leave YouTube just for a little bit to start. School is very hard for me. It is really hard for me. It's not the easiest thing. Um, I do a lot of this stuff for my family. I do majority. Why I'm specifically going to the school is because I really want to. I really want to do. I also do this because like, I want my parents like I want my parents to be proud of me like you know you just want like people to be proud of you I did this to help my parents in the long run like for any any reason and the thing is is that with this I can finish with some I can finish with a degree after so in my so oops so yeah so I can finish with a specific degree I don't remember which degree I do feel bad because I don't remember which degree but the thing is is that my high school is with an ACC campus so my sophomore year and my senior year I will be more on the ACC campus than on the East on the on my high school campus because side to side but still I will be going to both schools so my main reason here is because school is being very heavy on me right now I have to dedicate a lot of time to my school but I think I have found a schedule that I will be posting will be trying to post every two weeks I will be trying to post I do not promise anything I will be trying to post every two weeks trying to um, so yeah I really hope y'all understand I really do hope y'all understand that I yeah, everybody has school I have school to focus on I have a career like I want to be a hairstylist you see I'm just kidding but yeah I want to become a hairstylist or a doctor I'm still debating between the both be between both of them both of them but um I think what's catching my attention more is hairstyling yeah. so yeah um so I think I'm filming a video today or tomorrow and I will be uploading that in two and, uh, weeks maybe maybe but I know I will be up I will be filming a video after this video or tomorrow and I will be uploading that maybe in two weeks if I have it ready and edited I will upload it in, maybe, in two weeks I would actually upload that one in two weeks so thank you for understanding and yeah have a nice day night afternoon morning whatever whatever time you're in have a nice have a nice time okay peace out love y'all